Hey guys, long time no here. It's me again, obviously. So Donald Trump has called it insane. Elon Musk calls it a massive attack on free speech. Um, it's the new law that will introduce specific legislation to tackle hate crimes, uh, which is communication that is reckless and likely to incite violence or hatred. That's the uh, summary of the definition for it. Uh, you're looking at a uh, five year in jail, five years in jail and possibly heavy monetary fines to go with it. Um, victims are usually targeted due to prejudice against their age, ability, gender, ethnicity, religion, nationality or sexual orientation. Um, we've all uh been privy to the um the word gay bashing which is usually uh a term for beating the living shit out of uh, people of the lgbtqi community which um you know not great and obviously trans people have been getting it in the neck recently um the new laws basically just make it easier to secure convictions um there is a prohibition uh to incite hatred acts which was brought in in 1989 i believe um basically someone can defend themselves and just they, they're, they're allowed to prove that what they were saying wasn't intended to cause hate but did um this new law uh stops doesn't make it possible for person to defend themselves so basically it's a case of uh that person that did say whatever they said well, they're not going to get the proof that it, they didn't intend on causing hatred um, or it being spread. And um, they're, they're, they're going to be getting it in the neck either way. Um, it is going to make it interesting to see how the first couple of cases play out in court. Um, because it seems a person is not eligible to defend themselves. Um Even as someone who does want to see something like this come in, I, I believe that everyone is entitled to defend themselves in a court of law. Uh, fuck's sake, even murderers get to defend themselves. And it seems these people can't. It is interesting. I, I really do want to see how this plays out and what implications it could have. Um, I know for those on... Um, I'm not going to say the far right because there is no far right in Ireland apparently. Um, for those who are of the Keep Ireland Irish, um, that limited gene pool, um, it is going to have uh, quite a few implications for a lot of them and they won't need to worry about housing the Irish because... Um, those and their followers will be housed no problem, it seems, for five years. Um, but it is the the older generation who might just say something stupid because it's the way they were brought up. Um, just you know, just older people, um, seventies. 80s where they were brought up in a different time and are really just liable to say something from that era that you know it's a case of um what happens them because they're far more liable to say something than um the average younger person um they wouldn't see it as hate because again they were brought up in a different time um it's like all those Disney films that were brought out then. They now come with a warning when you look at them today. Um, so, yeah. Like I say, it's going to be interesting to see how the first couple of cases play out. 
Um, and after that, I guess it's just going to be the norm. So, uh, interesting times ahead, guys. This is uh, the wolf over and out.